to get this part over with, if, if you don't mind, but was there blood? Yeah, yeah, he was bleeding. Uh, the, uh, the medics got to him pretty quickly, um, and he said he was doing all right. So hopefully, hopefully he's feeling a little better now than, than he was back then. There's been, I mean, there's been spectators hit as long as the game's been played, but the sight of blood sometimes can be jarring. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, you never really want to catch catch a driver on the fly, um, so especially to the head. That was uh, that was tough. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to reach out to him this afternoon and, and see how he's doing. Rest of the round, when you finally got settled again, good. Yeah, played great. Uh, played really well. Uh, hit my driver great, which is key out here. Um, Iron shots were pretty good too today, and the putter was really hot today, so that was nice to kind How of take How much do you hit your driver? Or were you just talking about your overall driving game? What's that? How often do you hit your driver? Or a lot, yeah, out here a lot. Uh, I'd say it's probably somewhere around the 10, 11 uh, drivers, probably around 10 uh, that I hit every day out here. 65 today, 66 uh, yesterday. You know, what, what's been working well for you over the past, over the first two rounds? Uh, yeah, like I just said, the driver's been great, uh, driver, and it's key out here. I mean, it's really tight. Uh, you really have to be in control of your driver. And, uh, and yeah, the putter was hot the last few days, uh, which I haven't had the last couple months, so it's nice to kind of roll in a few birdie putts. Uh, right now, tied for the lead. Um, you know, what are your thoughts on potentially being in, like, you know, the last pairing on Saturday uh, as you head into the weekend? Uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, there's a lot of golf left to play. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you always want to be in one of those last groups on the weekend. Uh, that kind of makes it a lot more fun, uh, a lot more spectators out there. And uh, should be, yeah, should be a fun weekend. Just looking at the conditions, which are nice, and, and the course, which is good, and the, and the players, and it just looks like it's going to be a hard tournament to win. It's like a lot of people up there. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of good, a lot of good golfers. You know, uh, the wind's been down, which has been key. Uh, when the wind gets up here, it's hard to tell where it's coming from. It swirls a lot uh, down those narrow fairways, and we've been fortunate. We haven't had a whole lot of wind to deal with, so it's been kind of uh, you've been able to take advantage of it. Last one I was going to ask you was I, um, I don't want to shortchange you here, but it, you, I think you had two tour wins um, before the Ryder Cup. Is that right? Mm -hmm. um, you, you, you build confidence and validation, or whatever the word is, when you went on tour. What's the difference between what you took from those two wins and what you took from um, a week in Rome? Yeah, I mean, anytime you can play under pressure, it's huge because you learn something. You know, it's hard to simulate that when you're practicing, hard to simulate that even if you're playing a tournament and not playing well. Uh, so anytime you can put yourself in the hunt and, you know, uh, the Ryder Cup, you were, you know, it was max pressure every hole, every shot, whether you were playing well or not. So that's uh, that's huge uh, for uh, just for knowing how to deal with that when that situation comes. And yeah, it's uh, it's going to be something that I draw on a lot in my career. Did was, you go ahead? I was going to say, was the Ryder Cup? The, did the pressure feel like you anticipated? Was it greater? And was there a specific thing you think back on? It's like, hey, that was a key moment there. For me. Yeah, uh, it was it was definitely higher pressure than I I thought it was going to be. I mean, you always obviously you try to build it up, but if you've never felt that kind of pressure, it's uh, it's hard to kind of uh, know what it's going to feel like. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of pressure just from the, the first tee shot was definitely the max, and then it kind of weaned down a little bit after that. But uh, yeah, it was it was uh, it was fun to kind of play under those uh, conditions. What do you look for when you look forward to the to the rest of the year and to the to the majors and all that good stuff? Where do you put the Olympics on things you look forward to? Uh, it's up there for sure. It's uh, it's a great tournament. I, I'm really looking forward to playing with the uh, with the fans because in Tokyo we didn't have fans during COVID, unfortunately. So uh, that'll be a lot of fun. Just uh, kind of, I think the Olympic spirit will be a little bit higher than it was in Tokyo. So yeah, it'll be a fun week. Do you, do you consider it equal, um, not the not the outcome, but just the week? Do you consider it equal to a major, or just or not a quite a major? It? I think yeah. majors stand alone, uh, but but shortly behind for sure. But you kind of stand out more because yeah, you definitely stand out field. more. Yeah, smaller field, uh, but uh, but yeah, majors is you know we didn't grow up watching the golf in the Olympics, so it's a little uh, tough to say that it's at, up there with the majors. Everybody grew up making that winning putt on the putting green when you're 10, 12 years old for the Masters or the Open. Just for the gold medal. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going with you this year? I haven't really looked lately. Uh, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Uh, I've got a got a little one at home. Oh, I'm sorry. So. I'm talking about what other Austrian. Who's, who's oh, next oh, in line? I, I, we'll see. Uh, there's a couple guys that have a chance uh, to play their way in, and uh, hopefully we can uh, get a good, strong team, yeah. Do you have a little one on the way I interrupted you? 
Uh, he's he's already here four months. Four months. Yeah, okay. four months. Yeah. So he might he might be making the trip. We'll see. Jack, should we quit it? You want to ask some questions in German? You want to try your German? Yeah, let's see. I only the know German. one thing. Ich muss ein Stück haben. What does that mean? What is it? <laughs> I don't think that was German. Strudel ich muss ein Stück haben. Ah, ich muss ein Stück haben. Uh, I need to have a piece. Okay. Yeah, there you go. How'd I do? How'd you know that one? Well, look, I, learned that, thing you know. I learned that like the 10th grade. <laughs> there you go. Just and I don't know why stuck it stuck with, with me. Yeah. I don't think it was presented in a real clean... I think I, I needed a, uh, my friend from Munich to put apple strudel in there so uh, it wasn't you what you just said. Yeah. 